please. Stop. Stop. Stop clapping. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kid Make Spoopy Game. In today's video, I will be adding prehistoric creatures to my new game, while also making the actual levels for the game. I wanted to start with the levels because I knew putting the creatures into the levels first would be a very big pain. First, I had to, you, you know, make the maps because, well, you can't have a level without them. Yeah, so first I made the maps themselves. You, uh, um, usually the tone of, like, each level is a dark and, like, kind of eerie feeling. I wanted to do this because I really wanted to capture, like, the, the spoopy- So spoopy. <laughs> Uh, I feel like attention to detail is a huge part of, of any game, I guess, uh, that, that needs detail. I mean, it could be artistic with no detail. I just feel like it's a huge part, especially for this game. So what I do with the levels is, so I would add some grass, maybe some boxes, vines, and like other objects that kind of really sell the look of this uh, mess of a game. So, like, some of these objects uh, in the background would be an obstacle for the player. Like, pieces of uh, wood that you either have to, like, shoot down or jump over. I feel like these little obstacles or, like, little attention to details really, like, makes the game more interesting. Instead of it just being, like, a straight line through the whole level. Most of my levels are like linear uh, in terms of scale, but I still like encourage exploring to find like bullets uh, and like other little items or collectibles and stuff like that. Like let's say for example, you can look inside a drawer and find ammo. Wait, wait, and you can go shoot it around the freaking time. So then I had to make the different locations for the game because I didn't just want it to make just one location and it's really boring. So there are three locations you will be going through in this game. First, you will enter a shutdown lab called Bone Laboratories. The lab has been overgrown. The lab has been overgrown by a wildlife ever since the dinosaurs escaped and destroyed the place. And the second location is a cave where pterosaurs swoop in the sky. Who knows? I mean, they might even come after you. about that in the next video. The last location is the wilderness where dinosaurs lurk in the trees. Oh, they will come back you eating all your bones. All the meat. Why would they even eat the bones? I'd say level design is a pretty big part of the game and I pretty much have all the levels set up. Um, well, not set up. I mean, I, I still gotta like work on the other ones. <laughs> And I already have a few levels done experimenting with these ideas. So what? So, so so yeah, level design is a big part of this game. But now it's time to add the prehistoric creature. I thought a good starter enemy would be like the Dimetrodon. I mean, the Dimetrodon is very. Uh, I mean, the Dimetrodon is very slow in the game. It doesn't chase you, and uh, it also has like a very long stun time when you shoot him. After you've become like a pro gamer, you will then have to face a group of Dimetrodon. <laughs> it's still gonna be really easy, but... Sorry, I don't have any footage of the, the group of Dimetrodon, but I will be working on it eventually. I'm still working on it. a few other things called my life. <laughs> the next enemies in the game are the Krylophosaurus and Dilophosaurus. Yes, that is right. Both dinosaurs will try to kill you at the same time. What I have planned is Krylophosaurus will attack you first, then the Dilophosaurus will attack you, and then they look kind of like do it at the same time. And sorry, the only gameplay I'm showing right now is the Krylophosaurus because I don't have the Dilophosaurus section done. I haven't even started working on it. I should probably do that. But I promise the dialogue will appear. And then the next dinosaur is Albertosaurus. This large tyrannosaur is like the main antagonist of the game. You, 
uh, you have to battle them out with their like gun and like pew pew pew. <laughs> and also your spear. Kind of pop out. You know, kind of uh, pop up uh, uh, throughout your journey while you're kind of doing like at the beginning of the game. You'll be like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> but then, uh, so, like, uh, I wonder what that was. Uh, I guess I'll be moving too. And little suck it. And then after your, you'll have yeah. So you'll have a final battle with him, which is like kind of an outside in the forest, and there's fire everywhere, and it's all it's raining, and you're and he's running around, you're stabbing with your spear, shooting him with your gun, and eventually you will end it all. You will escape. And there's a little surprise at the end of the game, but um, I haven't done that part yet, and I can't really spoil the story of the game. So sorry. So to wrap up the video, here is some gameplay of the dinosaurs. watching subscribe or I will literally slap